Hi, I'm doing an initial test and review of my solar heat pump mini split. As you can see here, it's on the wall. Just want to demonstrate it because I've not seen many of these in England, and I thought I might be the first. Anyway, I'm just going to show you. Um, this is a 48 volt uh, mini split. So as you can see, if you follow all the wires down to the uh, isolator and the fuse goes all the way down and it goes towards the um, server rack back batteries which are charged by this uh, hybrid inverter it's not all um, installed properly yet so I'm just going to show you uh, initially what's charging these batteries there is about a thousand watts 900 maybe solar panels going into this emit hybrid inverter the power mister that's going into the server rack batteries and that's supplying 48 volts to the um, the heat pump and this does heating and um, cold as well so it does both temperatures and it suits me fine um, I, with this you get a little remote so I don't know if you can see this but I'm testing the um, one of the functions on this uh, one of them is uh, this timing function so I've got about half an hour left for it to self turn off uh, it seems to be working fairly well uh, I've set this up at 19 degrees and um, I could go higher as um, well, let's, I think it goes as high as 30 degrees here and as low as 16 degrees um, if I was to show you because I've got this uh, amp meter if I just go into the uh, DC side of things it's showing you 11.92 uh, so roughly 12 amps of um, consumption on, on this side um, but if I was to go outside, outside, I'll show you the system. It's not very loud. It's only humming now. You can actually hear the compressor. And um, yeah, the guy who installed this uh, did a really good job. Some ties onto the pipe work and condensation on here. But if, if you can see that closely, it's 750 watts, uh, max current at 16 amps, 48 volts. So the cooling capacity is 12,000 BTUs, heating capacity is 13,000 BTUs. And this is R134A gas. So, if you was to buy this from China, you probably need to uh, get a, an engineer to install it. But, um, normally, he will charge it up with R134 because of the, uh, this is shipped internationally. You can't transport the gas for this unit, so uh, I had to get an engineer to fill in the gas, uh, which was no problem because I, I like this actual setup where he's. And tidied up all the cables, the 48 volt cable ring, the, the, um, the copper tubes, um, the insulation, and this uh, ductwork which goes all the way and it's sealed to the side and the back of the uh, shed. As you can see, it's pretty nice. So, what can I say about this heat pump? Um, all I can say is that this heat pump is really nice. It's giving me some really nice cool air and normally in this room because the sun's been on top of the roof this room gets to be 30 degrees plus uh, in, in days like this where it's nice and sunny now I've got this the temperatures around about comfortable 19 9 degrees C and it's only um, using about 
12 amps at 48 volts, so probably five, 530-ish watts. It's not using a lot. Um, if you have enough solar panels on, on your roof or whatever, you can make up that difference um, because the panels, uh, especially second-hand panels, fairly cheap, you can make the difference and output it to your uh, heat pump system. All I can say now is that I need to check this out throughout over different times of the year using different modes, especially the heating, because I'm interested if this would work for the heating side of things. If this actually is successful, I might even put this in the actual real home and see if it can do the same. But otherwise, I'm using this solar heat pump in the UK to hopefully test the uh, system out and see if it's feasible. I'm actually sharing this so that other people might have um, the same idea and maybe try something similar to me. Anyway, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.